Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will discuss on how to get a licensure of the Medical Council of Canada, also known as LMCC. If you are new to this channel, my name is Paul. I post videos on the US and Canadian licensing exams every week. If you find these videos helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video. This will obviously encourage me to make more videos like this. Now let's jump into the video. So, physicians whose names are included in the Canadian Medical Register shall known as Licentiates of the Medical Council of Canada or LMCC. To be eligible for LMCC, a graduate must meet certain criteria. Let's see what are those criteria. As of June 29, 2021, a candidate must be graduated from a school listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools, which also includes a sponsor note indicating it is an acceptable medical school in Canada or a medical school accredited by the Committee on Accreditation of Canadian Medical Schools, or a U.S. School of Osteopathic Medicine accredited by the American Osteopathic Association, then passed MCCQE Part 1 and have successfully completed at least 12 months of acceptable clinical postgraduate medical training. In addition, candidates must complete primary source verification of postgraduate training through MCC. Once a graduate meets all these criteria, can apply for the LMCC through physiciansapply.ca account. Now the question is, what does it mean to have a minimum of 12 months of postgraduate training? Because in many parts of the world, it is termed differently. In few countries, it is called residency training, others internship or house officer, or maybe something else. The simple answer is, it will be determined by the Medical Council of Canada. MCC will decide whether a graduate's postgraduate training is acceptable or not. That is why, once a graduate applies for the LMCC, MCC takes few weeks to double-check whether a candidate is eligible or not. Once MCC confirms the eligibility, they will ask for the payment and will provide LMCC. Now the question is, once a graduate gets LMCC, will he or she be able to practice medicine in Canada? I will answer this in my next video. Till then, stay connected. That's all for today. Again, please subscribe to my channel, like this video. This means a lot to this channel. Thanks for watching.